The Man Who Conquered the Aztec Empire. Hernán Cortés. In the spring of 1519, a Spanish mercenary and conquistador called Hernán Cortés landed on the Yucatán Peninsula, Mexico with 11 ships, carrying around 110 sailors, 530 soldiers, a doctor, a carpenter, a few women and some slaves. He was actually defying a last-minute order from the Spanish governor of Cuba to abandon his mission. The governor knew of Cortés' ambitions and tried to revoke his commission shortly before he was due to leave. But it failed and Cortés landed in the New World with the ambition of conquest in the name of the Spanish king. At the time of his arrival, the land that we now call Mexico was ruled by the Aztec Empire which in turn was ruled by a king called Moctezuma, who was renowned for his hospitality. His palace had more than 100 bedrooms, each with an ensuite bath. His grounds contained zoos, elaborate botanical gardens and even an aquarium. Within just 18 months though of Cortés' arrival, the great city that was the key to the entire Aztec Empire was in Spanish hands. Despite initially welcoming the Spaniards as guests, the Aztec Emperor soon found himself a captive inside his own palace. The Spanish quickly set about emptying the palace of treasure and slaughtering hundreds, if not thousands of the local population. Cortés himself took little part in the capture of the palace, as he was forced off to fight off Spanish troops sent by the governor of Cuba to arrest him for his earlier defiance. Cortés did manage to persuade many of the troops to switch sides by regaling them with tales of riches and gold. But among the arresting party was an African slave carrying smallpox. This highly infectious disease was all too familiar to Europeans, but nothing like it had ever appeared in the Americas, thus the Native Americans lacked the necessary immunity against it. Unsurprisingly, within a year of its appearance, more than 40% of the Aztecs were dead. Over the coming centuries, the Native population would crash by around 90% from the 500 million it had been just before the arrival of Columbus. The actions of Hernán Cortés and contemporaries such as Francisco Pizarro, who wiped out the Inca Empire, resulted in the most devastating conquest in all of human history.